Hello again, internet. Today we are in yet another strange spot in Minnesota. We are in Old North Hibbing on this beautiful fall day. We're actually in a ghost town. If you're wondering where everything is, this is sort of a strange one, but we'll walk around and I'll show you what I mean. What we're looking at used to be downtown Hibbing, Minnesota, a town at the edge of a huge mine. Well, the mine began to grow and they discovered there was more or under the town. They made a deal to move all the buildings and houses out of downtown. Um, so Hibbing was just slowly moved over time. And it was so slow and the mine was growing so fast that apparently they didn't move some of the houses far enough and they actually had to be moved twice. So you can see where I'm standing now. This is an old sidewalk. It goes all the way down. These are the old streets. There's still a lamp post down here. And down here, there's a, um, a foundation. So let's go check all these out. There's actually steps that go up to all these places as well. There's steps that go up to a empty foundation with no house. Oh, and by the way, they also turned it into a frolfing course. So you might see some of those around. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a first step up here. So this was would have been the front door. But it's just like a I wonder if it was a house or a school or what. I'm not sure if this is more recent or not, but it's like old like tiles or something. That's pretty cool. If that is original from the house and it made it this long, that's a real advertisement for whoever made those. Normally it's like the street signs and roads that are overgrown and gone and it's just like the ruined houses left. This is like the opposite because we're not out in the middle of nowhere. Like you've probably seen, there's a few cars passing through. Because not only is it this frolfing course, but there's also a dog park here and a campground. Seems like a great way to get some money for upkeep and get people here too. Oh, it looks like a few of these have their lights gone. That's too bad. So we're starting to see some uh, signs indicating like what things used to be. Different photos from the old time. Here is a photo of them moving one of the old bars. They would roll them on logs and just roll them to the new spot. The old Tom Nook method. I read before coming out here that for the most part, moving all the buildings went well, except for one hotel that slipped off the logs and you know, there's no reusing that building, so. And some people who were like super protective of their stuff would stay in their houses during the ride to make sure nothing like fell out of place. So that, yeah, so here's the old curb actually. So this street here actually used to be couple feet over. Very cool. Heading down the old Lincoln Street. Oh, so here's some historical photos and information along with more of those empty front steps. Feels kind of twilight zone-y. You know, like everything else is here but the the houses. What would the twist ending be? They all come back at night or... Yeah, all the houses reappear at night. Somehow. Or yeah, an alien took everyone else but them somehow. <laughs> Here's a building, I guess they had to cut it in half to move it. Wow, all this used to be here. That's nuts.
Here's that hotel I was talking about that slipped off. Don't these guys, <laughs> don't these guys look like they're about to kill the photographer? <laughs> Another old sidewalk we're heading down. And here's the old curb too. I wonder if this used to be a driveway. It goes up. There's a step up here. It's actually really nice out here just in general. We've seen a lot of people out walking their dogs. Someone was having a picnic when we first got here. It's really made a nice, kind of spooky park. And unfortunately, that's about where my camera died. So professional. We were just about done there at that point, but we did go on to take a look at that mine that started all this relocation. It's called the Rust Hull Mine and there's a viewing platform so you can go check it out. People call it the Grand Canyon of the North and apparently you can see it from space. It had a really good view, especially considering that it was ball, and yeah, it was huge. I thought it was kind of humorous, that viewing platform. They also found ore underneath that, so that might be moved eventually as well. In any case, I would definitely recommend stopping in Hibbing next time you're driving through, especially if it's a spooky, foggy day. And I'll see you next time.